What's up, my comic community? My name's Cullen, and I collect comics. And to continue on with, like, the last video, stuff that I did, was going to show off that I didn't get to show because I opened the boxes and uh, my audio wasn't working. So uh, we're going to go right into it, guys. This time we have the things from another world order. First, we're going to start with The Approach, number five, by Jeremy Hahn. Uh, he did the cover and uh, the uh, writer for it, too. Uh, he didn't do the interior art, but... Uh, this is the final issue of it. I always love Jeremy Hahn's art and his, uh, that's why I love this cover for it. I also love his writing too. I mean, he is, uh, awesome. Uh, I, uh, got to meet him one time at the uh, Comic-Con in Cape Girardeau. Uh, actually I've got to meet him twice. Uh, I bought, uh, some of his, uh, stuff he did from, uh, he did one issue of, uh, Gotham City Sirens. I bought three pages from it off of him, but yeah, so, uh, here we have, like I said, uh, the approach, his newest thing, uh, and uh, we're gonna move on from that to uh, Batman Gotham Knights Gilded City issue number six, and uh, it's got a sideways cover. Looks like it's the uh, the load screen for the video game, or whenever you look at the video game, that's what it shows you. Next, we've got Batman Day One. Looks like I picked up two covers of this. We have the uh, Oh, Jim Lee cover that I absolutely love. And then we also have a uh, Giuseppe Camicoli cover right here. Uh, we have the Blue Book by uh, James Tyrion IV and uh, James Tynion. And, uh, yeah, uh, I like Tynion stuff. Uh, I'm probably continuing to get Blue Book for a little bit. Uh, next, we're going to move on to the Carnage, Plan of the Apes. I pretty much got this because I like Plan of the Apes and I like Carnage. I was hoping it would be a cool cover. I actually didn't get to see it until now, which, I mean, I dig it. It's pretty cool. I mean, I always like Carnage. Uh, so, uh, next, I loved every Catwoman issue cover this month. I really wish I would have had the cash to pick up the, uh, oh, uh, show variant but here we've got this awesome awesome Sergio Acuna cover I absolutely love it you know she's uh starting to look a lot more like Bruce huh I mean she's always had some and then we have uh this awesome awesome Sweeney Boo cover y'all know how much I love Sweeney Boo's covers so we've got this one it's cool then and also, I mean, you know, uh, this is, I guess, one of the last issues. Teeny Howard's still writing, but we've got, uh, oh, uh, this awesome cover also. This is the Woman's Day cover done by uh, Christina Caldea. It looks awesome. We have uh, the uh, Curse of Cleaver County, number one, and... Uh, Here's the cover for it. I have uh, been picking up the Curse of Cleaner County stuff. I thought it looked interesting. Uh, next, we got the uh, Deceased uh, Way of the Undead Gods, number seven. And uh, this has got a awesome uh, oh, uh, Ben Oliver tribute cover to uh, Purple Rain. Uh, classic. I actually somewhere have the Batgirl tribute they did to that. Uh, Legion of Bloom, number one. We have this awesome, uh, Derek Shoe cover. Deadpool I don't normally get, but I had to get this variant because it has, uh, obviously it has, uh, oh, it's Todd Knock, and it's got Slapstick on it, and I remember when Slapstick first came out. I love that comic. I love that cover, so. Next we have a, uh... Surprised I didn't get the other one of these. They had the, uh, oh, uh, Kelly Jones, Detective Comics number seven, 1050, or 1070. Saturday Morning Cartoons, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures by IDW. Uh, I used to watch this show as a kid, uh, when I could. It was kind of hard to remember when to get up for it, you know, like, uh, but, oh man, when I could watch it, I thought it was the coolest thing. 
Next, we have the uh, sixth issue of GCPD, The Blue Wall. And this has this awesome Francisco Francivella cover. You know how much I always talk about Francisco Francivella, how much I love his use of black and negative space, things like that. Loving this. Uh, next, we have the Jorge Molina cover of Gotham City Year One, number six. And once again, I love this cover. It's very noir. It's super cool. That's why I, you know, it's one of the things I love about it. Next, we have Harley Quinn 28, and this is the Ryan Sook cover, and it's fun with Harley riding the bed like she's Little Nemo of Dreamland. Then we have also someone else who I always love, Jenny, Jenny Frizen cover for uh, this Harley Quinn also, 27, I believe. Oh, no, it's 28. Sorry, 28 on those. Next, we have the B cover of Dan Hip of uh, Harley Quinn, the animated series Legion of Bats. Number six, always love Dan Hip stuff. And, of course, Old Lady Harley and Old Lady Ivy there. Just, just great. Absolutely great. They look super, super cute. Even though they're killing and strangling birds. And next, we have this awesome cover of Jeff with Neymar riding a rubber ducky. Absolutely love Jeff the Land Shark. And then we have another one with, looks like it's got Neymar and Gwenpool and Modoc. But yeah, these uh, It's Jeff looks like a fun story. Uh, I don't know enough about Jeff the Land Shark, but I've wanted to learn more, and I thought. These would be really cool, and uh, apparently his uh, first appearance has skyrocketed because of these books. But uh, And uh, I've got another stack here. I'm going to start the video again just in case uh, the audio messes up, uh, and uh, I will uh, talk to you all in a minute. All right? All right, see ya.